One of the fundamental trends on our planet Earth is population growth. Much of this growth is happening in the developing world and to support the growing population of humans requires a lot of resources, water, food, and infrastructure, including housing and roads. How we choose to design and build the future infrastructure systems will play a large role in terms of the survival and well-being, not just of us as a civilization, but of our planet as a whole. Hello, I'm Olivier Devec, and my research involves system engineering and system architecture for complex systems. The methods and tools that we cover in this course revolve around the idea of sustainable infrastructure systems. Hello, I'm Afreen Siddiqui. I'm a research scientist uh, at MIT. So I study uh, aerospace systems and really got to appreciate what systems methodology and systems thinking was all about. In this course, uh, we will explore systems theory as the basis for the analysis, development, and engineering of sustainable technological systems. And this course will equip you with the knowledge and skills uh, that will allow you to extensively understand sustainable infrastructure, from public policy and planning to operation management and data collection and design. One of the things we are very proud of at MIT Professional Education is our pedagogy. We present some theory, but we also ask you to apply that theory in some practical exercises. You will learn by yourself, but you will also have a chance to interact with your peers through the online forum. We are here to answer your questions. And so it's this mix of theory, application, and practical case studies that leads to the best learning outcomes. In this course, we touch upon sustainable infrastructure that frankly touches across all sections of society and across all professions. So professionals from a wide variety of industries uh, will benefit from this course uh, using hopefully the skills and knowledge uh, that they will gain from this course should impact their work as policymakers, uh, as engineers and technical professionals, as consultants, um, as financial leaders, and as business executives. In conclusion, we take a modern systems approach from multiple angles, engineering, policy making, and finance. Those all interact with the technical infrastructure, but also the social systems and the natural environment in ways that we are just now beginning to really understand more deeply.